on these beautiful summer days, there's nothing more beautiful than seeing people come together for a great reason. We have April Young. She is our director and our pastor of outreach here at Rust City. So yes. Night. Happy summer. April. Happy summer. It's good to see you again. We haven't seen you in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> it's freezing cold outside. Last time we were spending some time together, we were sharing uh, a few uh, recipes. Mm -hmm for Thanksgiving yeah. off camera. And now on camera this time, we are literally talking about Thanksgiving still. Yes. In our own special ways here. Yes. So for people that have, you know, maybe missed the memo, uh, when it comes to Wednesdays at Rusty Church, you guys mm -hmm. do big, bold moves. So yes. just give me a, a brief, description of what happens on Wednesdays and why you're proud of it. So on Wednesdays we volunteer um, and we do our weekly drive through food giveaway. Um, and we're not just giving away food, we're giving away diapers, we're giving away um, sometimes if we get it from Project MKC, um, mm -hmm. body wash, um, feminine health products, all those different items that people who are in need of um, can get here for free. I like to see all of these um, community organizations working together to make sure that the stuff that they are getting and the donations are going to people that need them and they're not just sitting around. So I think that's just absolutely amazing on that note. We have done the ease of people being able to just get in line mm -hmm. and get your stuff. There's no questions asked. There's no pre-paperwork. There's nope. nothing like that, right? Nope. You, you literally go um, park up, sit in your car. Um, our prayer team comes over, um, registers you, makes sure they find out how many families are in your car, right. um, ask you if you need prayer, and then will you drive through when we start and we load you up? And the answer, you know, is yeah, usually yeah. yes, yeah. right? I yes. mean, if we're in a situation where we need some help, usually a prayer can go a very long way. And that brings me to the reason why we're standing here right now. For people who are in need, the ease of becoming involved is very simple. But mm -hmm. for people who are saying, you know what, I need to do something where I can can walk with my faith, that I can feel like I'm doing something that matters. But you know what? I don't have time to go on Sunday. And I want something that I can just do and feel good about it and then and then move on mm -hmm. and get to the next thing. And I think that is what I am like shocked by. People can come and do one or two specific things with you mm -hmm. guys and that can be their moment. Yeah, so it's definitely a bucket filler for people. Um, there's a local recovery program who comes out here regularly mm -hmm. and volunteers. Um, they um, join us for our rally, um, come out, pick a station that they wanna be at, and I mean, just watching um, these men and women come out mm -hmm. and get their buckets filled and have an opportunity to give back. And we get a chance to love on them as well, which is an amazing, um, amazing thing. Um, a couple months ago, they came for outreach and then they stayed to help fill Easter eggs and did karaoke and stuff with us. So That's I, mean, I mean, anybody can come. And uh, watching this unfold, your story unfold um, here for us on Valley Spotlight, I feel like those are the things that have taken me by surprise as we've been able to work together on so much is to see the reaction from the people who maybe necessarily are not in need, mm -hmm. but like the way, the reaction and the feeling that you walk away is um, profound and it's it's very much mm -hmm. alive and well here. So um, for people that want to get a hold of you guys or, you know, what's the best website? What's the best way to even reach out to you, Miss, Miss Outreach Pastor? <laughs> so they want to go to restcity.church um, and you go to the link for outreach. Uh, if you want to come up and volunteer, you can come here at five o'clock. We start uh, volunteering at that time. Usually runs for about an hour. Um, and then we're done. Yeah, see, yep. one hour on Wednesdays. I know it's Sunday, but on Wednesdays, if you're thinking, you know what, that's that hour. That's that hour she's talking about. You you heard it here first. So. And we also do Sundays afternoons as well you if they do. want to cook. Yep. Okay, all right. So we cook for the homeless on Sunday afternoons. See, always learning something so new So they can come Sunday. at two o'clock and meet us at the church. We'll start packaging up the food and we'll head out. That's what my stepdad used to do. It's a blessing, it really is. It really is. is. It really is. Okay, well, on that note, we gotta go. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Happy summer, sister. Same to you. All right.